Welcome to the New Look SDR Play website. Don't worry, if you have existing bookmarks, they will still work. Most of the changes are pretty cosmetic and have been designed to help users get quickly and easily to the data they're looking for. As you're probably aware, website navigation normally consists of a combination of active buttons you can click on and that navigation is duplicated by a navigation bar typically across the top of the screen. So what we did was we analyzed what users were looking for when they came to our website and we put some quick link buttons on the right hand side to enable them to quickly get to the information they're looking for. Uh, what you see here is an analysis of what the buttons link to and how they used to appear in the old navigation menu on the website. John covered this in more detail in a recent blog post that you can see on our website. A special mention here for first time visitors who may have recently purchased an RSP and will have looked at the start here or quick start instructions that came on the insert with your RSP. What I would like to assure you is all the addresses shown in the quick start guide are still there, but through the website I'll demonstrate how you can get to the same information much quicker than typing in the URL. So here we are on the SDR Play homepage. The first thing I'd like to draw your attention to is the navigation bar across the top. Very similar to what it was before, except we've reduced the overall number of categories, but most of the selections are the same as they were before that. We discovered that many customers that come to our website are looking for product info. So this button here will take you straight away to a page that talks about the different products within the RSP family. We go back. A second popular category was people that want to purchase an RSP, which of course you can do directly from our web shop. So click on this button if you want to purchase an RSP. Uh, the third category, uh, very popular indeed, is people that are looking for software for your RSP. Now these may be people looking to download uh, software having just purchased an RSP, or maybe uh, you've already been using an RSP and wish to experiment with different types of software, plugins, add-on programs, so on and so forth. And uh, if we click on this button, we get to the uh, redesigned software page. Now by far the most common download is SDR Uno. So if you click anywhere on, in this button on the left, you'll be taken to a page that enables you to download the latest version of SDR Uno. And here we see uh, all sorts of good stuff here, how to download the software, uh, the software roadmap, but people often ask about that. The user manual can be downloaded separately, but please note, you don't have to. When you download SDR Uno itself, you will be downloading the manual as well, which will then be accessible from the options menu in the SDR Uno main window. So alternatively, on the software page, if you're a new user, here is the Start Here button that we talked about. So if you click on here, you'll be taken immediately to the start of the, uh, the Start Here process, which involves uh, registering your product. And uh, again, that makes it very easy for the first time user to generate some software. If you're looking for some additional software, uh, we can get you into the download system here by allowing you to select which model of RSP you have and which operating system you're interested in. And once you fill out that information, you will then be taken to a page that enables you to select the software that you want to download. Uh, again, when you're downloading uh, subsequent software, then you do not need to uh, register your RSP over again. It's kind of like a, a shortcut bypassing the registration process. So again, going back to the main page, uh, another uh, frequent uh, requirement is people that need help. And uh, the way to do this is to uh, click on the, the help button and you'll be taken again to a, a direction page that will offer you either technical help, uh, choice deciding which RSP you want. Uh, again, you can get into the start here flow. Uh, you may just want to re review some basic videos on getting up and running. But let's uh, let's go into the uh, the tech help section for a moment. And uh, 
One thing I'd, I'd like to uh, advise you of here is the Tech Help system was extensively redone over the past six months to, to a year. And what we did was we analyzed uh, inquiries that came through the ticket system. And as you might expect, a lot of them covered the same issues. Uh, the other thing we noticed was a lot of the issues that, that were requested have already been covered in uh, various videos and app notes we've published. So uh, in the new help system, what we do is we ask you for which model you have, which software, uh, which operating system and which software. And then based on that, we, we hope to serve up to you some uh, information that will help you solve the problem. Uh, you can subsequently dive deeper. For example, if it's a software issue, you have common software issues and uh, some introductory uh, videos that help you uh, get by a lot of the problems that are common. Now, if uh, if you do follow this path through, uh, again, you're going to see additional information offered up. If you are unable to resolve your issue by working your way through this flow, then you have an option to click on this button and raise a support ticket. So uh, very flexible, uh, all sorts of help is available to you. Um, let's go back to um, let's go back to the home page again. Uh, the other thing that often people are interested in is to just get to look and browse through the various applications information that's available. You can do that from this link on this page here. And uh, the applications catalog got pretty full uh, in a hurry. We do generate a lot of videos. We generate a lot of, uh, of uh, application note type information. And uh, what you can do is you can narrow down your search by using the various categories offered here and indeed subcategories. And then a, a really potent search tool is the uh, search box. So if, for example, I'm interested in building a pan adapter, I can type pan adapter in this box, or at least I could if I could spell. Um, uh, let me see, pan adapter. And uh, one thing you might want to do is click on search all categories, which will make sure you don't miss anything because of any previous selections you've made up here. So once I've typed in pan adapter, you can see uh, many documents and videos describing how to set up a pan adapter for your RSP. Uh, again, lots of useful information here, and uh, hopefully you can uh, zoom in on the information you need quickly and easily. Returning once more to the home page, uh, there's kind of a catch-all button at the bottom. Uh, it's called miscellaneous and uh, it covers uh, news information, reviews, uh, educators program, developers information, the blog, and basically everything else you want to know about uh, SDR Play. So a simple click on the button at the bottom will take you into another sub-menu where you can get into the various other resources that are available on the website. And now a few words for mobile users. The website is what they call responsive, which means that the output is formatted to suit a mobile device. So if you go to the home page, you'll need to scroll down to get to the various navigation buttons we've been demonstrating. If you want to get to the navigation menu, hit the icon in the upper right corner and it will drop down and allow you to navigate by that means. And now it's your turn. We invite you to head on over to sdrplay.com and check out the new navigation features for yourself. Thanks for watching 73s.